We have some amazing glitches that are working right now for Season 4 of Modern Warfare 3 and I'm going to be showing you how to do them all in this video. So sit tight, relax, they're all shown on screen right now so skip to which one that interests you or watch the entire thing, it doesn't really matter or bother me at all. Just as long as you like and subscribe, I'm happy. You done it? Alright, cool, let's begin. I load up my gun and I'm ready to go I got a glitch in my pocket, it's a camo show I stick to the map and no one knows I'm there Cause I take out my enemies without any cow just by going AFK, you can unlock all the prestige camos in Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that by literally going AFK overnight and sleeping. You're not going to find this anywhere else, so drop a like, subscribe, and let's begin. And just quickly, let's take a look at my sponsor, MitchCactus.com, because he's got a range of services, including, but not limited to, camos, camos, and more camos. You can literally unlock any camo in the game from Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2. Accounts for sales, zombie schematics, uh, nuke skin boost. Look at all the reviews you can see on page right now. I highly recommend Mitch Cactus over 10,000 customer reviews and use code Joey for 5% off links in the description back to the video all you need to do is go to plunder quads make sure squad fill is on go to the settings go to controller settings make sure parachute is on always and then you're going to get your controller and you're going to listen to exactly what I say when you load in the game and you're going to set up to AFK do not put your controller down or put elastic bands you're going to get kick fan activity because the game now knows when you put in elastic bands or you put the controller down etc once you hit a certain threshold of how fast you're moving in the same direction it's going to kick fin activity. So listen to this guys. This came from a comment from this absolute machine You can see on screen right now. Thank you to this guy. You're a weapon But when you put a controller down and you're putting the analog sticks make the analog sticks face up But make sure your controller is only put on slightly so your character's moving forward slowly not like this like this. If it's like this, the game thinks you're actually playing for some reason. You're going to actually stay in the game for like literally 100,000 hours straight if you want to. Now make sure the weapon you want to level up is in the favorite loadout in the first primary weapon. That weapon is going to get all the weapon XP. You're going to wake up with obsidian. I can't believe I just survived the whole game AFK, guys. That's insane. I just wish, I just wish we found this out before double XP was over. Look at that. Almost a battle pass, a whole battle pass for one game of AFK plunder. 1400 XP to my rank level. And now let's see the weapon XP. It doesn't show you. But I'll go ahead and show you right now how much we're going to be getting. And as you can see, it puts you into a game straight away. But we're going to go to my gun right now. Just for reference, this is how much XP I had before I had the game. Now let's see how much I got after. I'm going to go to the camera and see how much XP I got for that. It literally gave me 20,000 XP for one game. What the f- That's literally insane, guys. That's- Imagine how many games you can go AFK while doing this, bro. My XP flowing. My weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. What the- This is how you can get tier 100 in your battle pass by going AFK overnight while sleeping. Literally go to sleep, wake up. You have battle pass tokens waiting for you. And this one works for for everyone. The video I uploaded yesterday that shows you how to get weapon XP as well, going AFK, that only works for some people. This one works for everyone on any console or anything, even PC. And this one's even simpler and easier. You don't have to wrap your elastic band around a controller, anything like that. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more season four glitches and tips and tricks just like this for Modern Warfare 3. Alrighty guys, so I just came back. As you can see, I'm AFK at the moment. I'm going to go out, leave the match and see how many battle pass tokens I got overnight. It is the morning. We have exactly Okay, there we go. So we got just under 13 battle pass tokens overnight while I was sleeping and I've been sleeping for about six hours So all you need to do is literally come to resurgence quads go to squad fill in the bottom left corner Make sure that's on come to the settings come to controller settings go to gameplay and make sure that parachute auto deploy is on always So parachute automatic behavior is on always now guys This is only for people who can't do it in plunder quads So in plunder quads you can do the exact same thing But you get weapon XP and for that guys You just make your favorite uh, weapon as the weapon that you want to level up and you're gonna get weapon XP for that That's only working for some people apparently because for me It's not working, but everyone's commenting saying it works for them So if it works for you do this one that way you can get weapon XP as well and get obsidian straight away overnight AFK. Otherwise, do the resurgence one that I showed you just now how to do. And make sure it's in resurgence quad so that your teammates can get XP for you so you can level up your rank as well. And that's it. Just go ahead, start a match and go AFK. Wake up the next morning. You have all these battle pass tokens just waiting for you. Please drop a like, subscribe. My XP flowing. My weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. What the so just like yesterday's video, go ahead and get nothing equipped. Just go straight into a mono 
Modern Warfare 3 Zombies game and make sure squad fills on so that you get XP for your rank and some money as well. Both of this is going to get you more XP when you exfil at the end of the game. So anyway, once you ran, literally as soon as you spawn, there's going to be a tower nearby. Literally a tower, probably about a 30 second run. Head straight there and climb up. This is what they look like. I've got three around me when I spawn just here. And when I go all the way to the top, there's not going to be any zombies coming towards you. So just go AFK here until the end of the game. At the end of the game, jump off and go and exfil. That's literally all you have to do every single game. And you're going to get literally three and a half tokens every single game if you have a double XP token equipped. I'm at the top of leaderboards and I'm on fire. If you say you don't like glitches, then I say that you're a liar. I'm the glitch master. I'm untouchable. So guys, all you need to do is literally drop into a game of zombies, but make sure you bring in all the good stuff so they can duplicate them into your stash. And you also need the exact amount of slots in your stash that you're going to duplicate. So if you're going to duplicate five items, you need five items left in your stash. Otherwise, you'll have some duplications go missing and it's going to be very annoying for you. Okay, so once you get your stuff, drop into a game of zombies and go buy the tombstone perk if you don't have it equipped already in your inventory. And you're also going to need an extra thousand dollars after buying a tombstone perk to activate the portal. And that's it. Once you got all the stuff, guys, Go ahead and go to the bad signal portal located over here on the map. You're going to put in a new set of coordinates and this is what you're going to be putting in. Bang, bang, and bang. Those three in a row. Go ahead and activate the portal now. Make sure you activate the portal before you run. Then you're going to run upstairs and make your way over to this bad signal portal. Activate the portal. And then I suggest using the scorcher or make sure you got stamina up and just your fist if you don't have a scorcher. Or you can join my Discord link below and get a scorcher for free in less than two minutes from one of my helpers. But anyway, once you activated the bad signal portal, make sure you go back to the other portal as quick as you can and go into it. It's going to teleport you on top of this big tower right here. Turn to the right, jump off and fly to the edge of the map. Now notice the time on the left. Once I hit about four seconds, open your map. And when it hits two seconds, go ahead and vote yes. Now a 10 second time is going to come down. And here's the actual easy part. For some reason, it works when I go in five. So as long as you walk into the um, out of bounds area when the timer hits seven, six, or just about to hit five, you should be good to go. Now it's going to show a screen like this. Now guys, once all this is done and it goes completely black, wait for the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies logo to come in the top left corner. Once that happens, completely exit out of the app. Now after this, you're completely done. Go back to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. It might be frozen. Just keep on retrying until it unfreezes. Took me about two minutes or so. And when you go in, you're going to see you have all the duplication stuff in your items. Unequip them, go back into the game, and you're going to see that you have the tombstone still there with the items you duplicated. And you can either do this tombstone glitch again, or you can back out X-Fill and you've duplicated your items successfully. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. Go ahead and go to zombie section and get all the weapons that you want to level up and then get all the schematics and cases that you can. The better equipment you have, the better you're going to be and more XP you're going to get. Now, drop into a game of zombies by yourself or with a friend, it doesn't really matter, and head straight to the Outlast contract. Yep, the Outlast contract glitch is still working and it's still freaking crazy. Guaranteed over 100,000 rank XP and up to 50,000 weapon XP. And don't forget the three to four battle pass tokens when you got double XP on as well. Freaking insane. Insane. So anyway, once you get to the location of the Outlast contract, go ahead and start it and wait to get to 95%. Go to the map and cancel it. And now the herd of zombies is going to come after you for literally the entire game. You've got over an hour now to just shred zombies and level up your weapons. Do this for your entire game. You're going to love it. My XP flowing. My weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. I'm going to keep this one short. So all you're going to do is go to zombies and get the weapon that you want to level up and get everything that you can help you with. So the cases and schematics, they're going to help you not die, get the best armor that you can, etc. Go to the exfil in the orange tier zone and go and start the exfil over and over again. You're going to have a minute of a wave of like a billion zombies coming at you. Just slaughter them. And then when the chopper goes away, wait for the exfil to come back in about 20 to 30 seconds and recall it again and do the same thing over and over again. This is the greatest XP one in the whole video. You get way more XP doing this than any other other glitch I've shown you this video. So if I was to recommend anyone, it's this one. It's the most fun and it's the most XP. And it's the best one for getting camos as well. I'm sneaking up on enemies that I know I'm there. That's because I'm in God, but I never play fair. I'm at the top of leaderboards and I'm on fire. If you say you don't like glitches, then I say that you're a liar. I'm the glitch man. This is a free bundle that you can get right now for all users on any console in Modern Warfare 3. And I'm going to be showing you how to get these exclusive to PlayStation bundles you can get right now as well. Okay, so first thing you want to do is search up Joey Rhymes on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's see, let's see. That's Which enough is... of that. Thank you very much. Anyway, then you're going to go to Prime Loot Gaming on Google. So search this bad boy up right there and click the link. And once you're in the link, you can see it right here, the Call of Duty pack. But instead, if it's not there, just search up Call of Duty 
and it will come up just like this along with their mobile one as well. We'll get to that in a second. So for Modern Warfare 3, go ahead and click that bad boy. And literally all you have to do is press get in-game content and voila, it's in my game now. Once I restart Call of Duty, you'll see it in my store. The only thing you need is a Prime account you can get a free trial for or it's $6 a month. And then link your Activision. For example, I've linked my Activision with my Prime Loot account and then it goes straight to my game. Now when I go to my store, guys, you're going to go to the bottom right corner, press R2 or whatever it is on your console, go to my bundles and there we go. We got this fucking absolutely sexy beast of a blueprint right here. So for these two bad boys, come to the PlayStation Store and search in Warzone and you're just going to go ahead and download and purchase for free this Call of Duty add-on and then also this Call of Duty add-on right here. Shogun is still in the store as well if you haven't got that already.